So now that you came to Hungary again, what was your first idea? The very first time I came yeah, here? Yeah. You know, I didn't know what to expect. I just knew that it was a, a new area for me. And I knew that um, uh, that everybody here was really passionate. But I got to tell you that, um, you know, I've been traveling around the world the last four, four years now. And coming here was probably one of the first times that I really experienced um, the, the passion to that magnitude. I mean, it was really incredible. So, uh, you know, Budapest is really one of those places that's special to me because, yeah, you guys were one of the first ones to really, really just like embrace me, you know, and, and, and I'll remember that forever. I, I really uh, appreciate all that. And how has it come back for the fourth time? Wow, I mean, it feels like home now, you know? I mean, I have friends here now, um, lots of friends that uh, that live here, and, and now I just, I feel like I, I belong here, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like I just come to visit, uh, I feel like I actually, I'm part of something here, and, and I'm happy about that. So nice to hear that, yeah. Uh, there is a new song, the new world, what should we know about that? Well, the, um, there's uh, the transmission party in Prague, and uh, they asked me if I wanted to do the theme to it. And the theme to the, this year's party is the new world. So I made this track with the, uh, the party in mind. And um, it turned out to be really, really big. I mean, it, it's, uh, um, as a matter of fact, I have a new version of it um, that I'm going to play tonight. Um, I did a Cold Harbor mix of it. And, uh, and uh, I tested it out last night at Ministry of Sound in London and the people went crazy for it. So uh, tonight I'm going to debut it here in, in uh, Budapest. And uh, of course, um, yeah, I'm really excited about the track. Uh, we are also. <laughs> and the, you choose a brand new way to compile a new uh, compilation CD next year. You are waiting for tracks for that. Yeah. Uh, what is this concept? Well, I, I've, I've always been very uh, close and personal with with a lot of the artists that I signed Cold Harbor, um, but this compilation, what I want to do is pick artists that I respect and uh, work with them, um, either work with them directly or have them make something for me, especially for me, with the Cold Harbor Marcus Schultz sound in mind. Um, you know, so uh, the CD is going to have a very the compilation is going to have a very personal touch. Okay. Um... I was talking to Armin Sama and uh, I made this question as well. That, um, I mean, I, uh, I often talk about with my friends. They are trans fans, including me, for almost 10 years. And they are missing something new from the tracks. Uh, what is your opinion? Absolutely. When I listen to, uh, uh, for example, the structure, it, 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 the, we all still love the breakdowns we all still love the emotion that's in trance but the structure has gotten boring tracks they're 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 formed there's a formula now certain parts come in at certain times and i think that one of the things this is why i'm 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 taking my time with the new album because for the next year i want to do some a lot of remixes and really kind of like rediscover the club versions or or you know not without the formula for, for some of these trance tracks. I think that some of these things you can only do in a remix. You can't do it on an album because everything now is like six and a half minutes long and you gotta try and put all the ideas in. And I've been doing some kind of, just kind of bootleg remixes that I only play in my set that are 10, 11, 12 minutes long where you can really explore different elements of, of the track and I think that's what's kind of missing in trance not missing I think that's what people are wanting now it's like okay you can we can all make great tracks now let's take that great track and let's really like build something within the track and build to a moment not just have the whole track be a moment but build to a moment within the track I think that's um that's one of the things that house music is special for, you know, and I grew up with house music, but I've always loved the trancey elements. So for me, this is, I'm very comfortable with where I think trance needs to go, and I'm very comfortable kind of, maybe even, dare I say it, leading the charge to this new direction. 
Okay, looking forward to this direction. Yeah. Okay, um, another another theme topic. Uh, it's it's a kind of personal thing. Uh, I was because of uh, missing the new sound. I uh, put in a CD player my old CDs five or six years back yeah. then, and I realized I was shocked that I cannot play the audio CDs from. Uh, four, five or six years ago. So what do you do against data losses? Oh, I have everything backed up. All you have to do, pop in the CD and a computer and if it, it should be able to read it. But I mean, one of the things that I've always been very careful of is backing things up. I know that 10 years from now, I'm going to want to pull out is there's a, yes, there's a lot of music out there, but you have to somehow choose the music that fits you and personalize it. And not just playing it, not just burning it to a CD and then playing it out. But as you know, everybody knows, 95% of the music that I play, I've edited, I've added stuff to. You you gotta take something that you feel right about that fits you and personalize it by by making it fit your sets. You know, and I think that sometimes that's missing in, in some people's sets. Uh, and that's what I take great pride in is making sure that my set has a certain vibe. And yes, I'll play a track that maybe doesn't fit me normally, but the way that it's that I've recreated the track or the way that I've edited it or whatever, it makes sense in my sets. And and uh, I think that's missing as well, you know. I mean, anybody can go to the to Beatport, download the top 10 and then go out and play, you know, a 1-hour set. That's anybody can do that, but what what really makes in this day and age somebody special is to take stuff, even older stuff, and personalize it that fits you and your personality and your, your, uh, your, your sense of music. Okay, then um, finally let's talk about uh, tonight, because your set will be recorded and yeah. uh, that is the Global DJ Broadcast War Tour yes. series. Uh, how do you uh, choose the, the venues? Well, I choose first of all cities that I'm really uh, confident in, and and, uh, and and cities that I think are special. You know, I think people want to hear me playing a set from Paris or London or or, or Tokyo or you know, those are special cities. Those are like wow, those cities are cool. And and the other thing that's really uh, that I look for as well is where I know the crowds are going to be up for it, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's on the radio, I want people to feel the, the part of the party. And that's why um, Budapest was a very easy decision for me to do, because I know that the crowd tonight is going to be, you know, they're going to be off the wall. You know, and it's going to be loud, they're going to be noisy, I've got the microphones set up already. And um, yeah, I think, it, I think on the radio, I really want to present um, a picture to people when they're listening that they are there, you know, that, that they're part of the party with the crowd noise and, and everything. So uh, I think we're going to I think we're going to accomplish that tonight. So have a nice evening. Well, thank and you very much. Thank you very much for the interview again. Okay. <laughs> okay.